Starting the vlog from the car, which is becoming um, what's the word I'm looking for? Redundant. <laughs> Redundant. Um, got a sunray here. My skid has gone quite bad today because um, I've gone back to my normal diet of just living off of sugar. Because when I was pregnant, I didn't have any sugar and it. My skin was really good, um, but I'm having a facial this evening. I'm very, very excited. Um, I'll tell you all about that when I get there, but it's um, going to the Harrods Spa. And I would love to have a bit more done, but I'm gonna wait for the breastfeeding journey to be over. But I'm very excited to have like an hour of relaxing for the first time since I've had the baby, and hopefully it will help this. So we're just gonna pop to Farron and Ball and Benjamin Moore to pick up some paint samples for the house. Then I will go and have my facial and show you. Hello? Yeah. I caught you, didn't I? <laughs> I'm a woman. I can do two things at once. So what happened just there? Sorry about the There the was line. a man in a wheelchair, so I wanted to make sure he's alright. And there was a very hot blonde behind the man in the wheelchair. Oh. Long blonde hair. That was just a coincidence. She even caught my eye because I love, I love women, you know, and when I'm dressing, I always dress for women. So she caught my eye and then I knew instantly to look at him because it was his type and he was looking, but he was doing it very obviously because he thought I was distracted with you, but no, us women can do more things. He was literally like, um, yeah, so that's the update of the vlog. I'm going to show you, uh, take you with me to the Harrods Spa. Um, I would like to have a sneak peek at the Christmas department. If I feel like it's safe in there, I'll have a little look. Um, Honoré is not coming into Harrods with me. I'm going to show you my outfit. And then when we go home, I had a net a porte surprise delivery, which I'm going to show you. And what else did I have? Something really major arrived. Nappies. <laughs> we did have some nappies arrive. I can certainly show you them. Uh, so yeah, I have a few things to show you when we get home, but that's the introduction to the vlog today. So we are just going for a walk around Knightsbridge with Ollie Boy. Hello. And I'm here with Rudolph. So today, I forgot how much I love leggings. I've just got some high street leggings on. Venona Barnick boots, oversized blazer. And when I bought these, they were a bit big, but because my feet have gone big, they fit perfect. Just a grey tee, oversized blazer, casual, comfy, and a nice big bag because I have lots of things today. So we're going to go for a walk in with Ollie Boy because he loves the walk. Tell you, he loves the walk, kids. We're just trying to pick the places where there is no one. Um, and then I'm going to go, I'd love to get a coffee, but I think it's going to be busy in Starbucks, isn't it? Yeah, like paranoid creatures. Uh, but he loves going for the walk, he loves like looking he around. Loves <laughs> 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 yes, that's basically all we do, we go around for walk. <laughs> Wait, let me show. It's Rudolph! Yeah! Yeah! Look at Rudolph! Woohoo! Wow! Let me see a film. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not any silver cross today. Oh, should we go the other way? It's getting a bit busy up there now. So the other day when we came, he was in his silver cross. And I do love that just for going up and down. I'll put in a little clip of um, us at Polpo. But this one's just good for if we need a lot of things in the boo, and it's just obviously a lot easier. No, let's go back. There's too many people up there. So, um, 
yeah I mean I don't actually have much to vlog I'm not going to buy any special bag or anything but I did a poll on my Instagram what you wanted to see more of and you just said vlog when I'm doing nothing special so here I am doing nothing special but um, I will be showing you the most amazing facial telling you all about the doctor that I'm doing my face treatment with and anything in the future I'm so excited to meet her but I'm gonna carry on with my little family walk and then we'll have a tiny little look around Harrods together I managed to sneak a hat on him but he hates hats see look he's not as laughing now but look how beautiful he is he's got Russian blood he doesn't need a hat he's so beautiful look at those eyes you want the hat off, don't you? Okay, so baby free. Two hours, I can concentrate. I'm loving my Rue 7RP inserts. Perfect fit. I'm always looking for the hand sanitizer. I'm using my Hermes purse today, the Kelly wallet. Um, just basically a bear from the hand sanitizer. I'm just gonna pop to the Christmas department. So I made it to the wellness clinic. If you haven't been, it's very beautiful here. So I'm here with Dr. Mawa. Hello. And we are doing, I forgot the name already. It's the Envious Glow Facial. That's what I'm doing. So that's going to really help my breakouts that I was telling you this morning. So you, can you explain? So yes, yeah, so the Envious Glow Facial is um, a facial that is exclusive to us here at Harrods. But the Envy Facial itself is a uh, facial that's only available in doctor-led clinics. So you won't find the Envy Facial in any um, high street salons or spas or anything like that. Uh, we've adapted the MV Facial um, to give you optimal results. And basically, the MV Facial uses a diamond tip to gently exfoliate your skin, um, to help relieve you know, your pores from any dead skin cells mm -hmm. or makeup or anything that's, or oils that's, that are clogging the pores, which can help with breakouts, particularly maskne, mask acne, which is something that's uh, affecting lots of people right now. Oh yeah. Um, it also has a closed suction loop, which allows um, for effective extraction, as well as infusion of hydrating serums. So you'll be leaving with very um, hydrated, hydrated skin, and dehydration of the skin is one of the key causes of breakouts. Breakout. Um, we're going to supplement this with some oxygen, hyperbaric oxygen, which is high concentration of oxygen to deliver nutrients to the dermal layer of the skin, needle free. And then we are going to um, put some, uh, put you under the LED light, a medical grade LED light, which is called the Dermalux MD, mm -hmm. uh, Triwave MD, and that, which is also used in hospitals to treat a number of conditions. And we're going to put it on the settings to kill the bacteria that causes acne. So you should leave feeling oh, very wait. fresh. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm very dishevelled. With a nice fresh skin. I can't wait. So I'll show you the results. And there's so many different facials. So I think over time, I'm going to see which one suits me. And I'll take you on my journey to... Um, I want to get on top of this before it gets to how it was before I had the baby. So I can't wait. I'm really excited. So ignore the awful spot that I have. But my skin, wow, it's absolutely glorious. Let me show you Harrods. So obviously I used to work here. So I'm used to being in here with no one around. But it feels very strange. So yes, absolutely wow. My skin is so plump. This is kind of ruining it, but it's already gone down. Um, I'm going to talk to you about it tomorrow, but that is literally the best facial I've ever had. This is not the best life, so I'm going to talk to you about it tomorrow. But um, it was so good to be relaxed. And that was seriously, like, you can see how plump it is, like all here. I don't know, I've never had a facial that's brought out my cheekbones. What's happening here? And this is in the worst light in history as well. Um, I swear I didn't have Botox or anything. Look how beautiful London looks. Um, so I totally forgot 
balance and touch my face after that face door. Um, keep hitting on the worst lighting ever. Oh, look how lovely everything looks. Um, let me get out of everybody's way. So I forgot how that Harrods closes at seven now. And I was going to go to the Christmas department. I was going to get myself some dinner from the food hall. And I totally forgot, so I'll just come out here and have a chat with you. Honestly, I'm so obsessed with my skin. Ignore that. I just can't believe this cheekbone thing. Um, so yeah, best facial. I'll talk to you all about it tomorrow. What I was going to say. Oh, I'll show you cutaways of all the things I bought. Because I bought some things. Which is why I didn't go to the Christmas department. And there was like a Paddington Bear section. A Winnie the Pooh section. Thomas the Tank Engine. All in collaboration with Harrods. So I literally bought every single style for Nore. And then I bought some for my any of my friends that had children that love Paddington or Winnie the Pooh. I bought them as well. Um, so yeah, they're lovely. And I love the Harrods fabric for the baby all the baby grows well 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 so i was going to tidy all this and then film with you but i just thought nope i'll keep it real and tidy with you in the grand scheme of things it's not that bad because i filmed two hauls all my manona blanics are gone because i had them in my studio room and i filmed that i filmed another haul that's the shopping from yesterday and they're from my studio which is why there's all fabric here so really it's not that bad so i'm going to show you what i bought yesterday show you what's in that net porte bag and then i have something so amazing to show you i've actually had it for about three months and it's it's wow it's a wow moment and i was going to show you when it was all finished but Things take so long when it comes to because it's a house thing, but it's a major house thing. Let me let me show you, let me tell you that. Um, I always want to show you when it's finished, but one, it's nice to show you like the stages, and two, it never goes to plan and it takes too long anyway. And then I end up literally never showing you for like a year, and it's already been three, four, five months. It's actually been longer than that. Um, but I can't stress enough that when it comes to home stuff, I always say things to you like with these doors. I've said a thousand times. These doors, I've, I've chosen completely plain ones because I have an idea for them. It's just that with lockdown and builders, it's just been an absolute nightmare. Um, but then I still get I still get messages from you saying, Oh, the doors are horrible. They look so boring. It looks so cheap and boring. And I, and I say, hello. They're plain for a reason. So that's why I, I get a bit standoffish with sh so showing you home stuff. But... Whatever. So anyway, I might as well show you this to be going on with. I did pop into Zara and I bought this cashmere sweater. These really nice joggers. They're a really nice like off-white colour with pockets. They're really soft. Just a really nice um, outfit for at home. And then I did buy some more bits which I'll show you. Um, now, my skin. I won't talk to you too long about it. But Honoré is such a good baby. He never keeps me up apart from the obvious feeds. I'm going to hate this when I'm editing because I'm so incredibly tired. Like all of here is brown. I've got massive bags. Um, but last night he actually did keep me up because he's teething. So I've had I think probably an hour and a half sleep. But I feel fine. It's actually crazy that you get so fearful of having a baby from the tiredness. But I can honestly tell you, this is coming from someone that if they didn't get nine hours, I would literally like feel like I was going to vomit. I would, it was so dramatic. I would actually get ill if I didn't have sleep. But your body just kicks in. And although you can see how terribly tired I am, you, you actually just your body's fine it just copes with it i can't explain it but don't don't be worried if you don't have any children yet and you're worried about that because it really is fine you just have to look like this for a few months um and it's just important that you do take time for yourself it's been nearly three months and that is the only time i've had to myself and it was only an hour and a half facial even when i had my hair done which has been once since march I take my laptop all the time to the hairdressers and I work consistently for the whole appointment. So it's important that you do do stuff like last night. So let's put you here. It's not the best light. It really isn't. Let's put you on here because then you can really see. So the facial that I had, I will put the details 
I'm gonna spin you around. Okay, let's have a little chat. Um, wow, wow, wow. I don't mind looking rough as long as you don't mind it. Now, the facial. <coughs> wow. Even my tripod's tired. Um, so I basically told you everything last night. So I'm scatty anyway, but considering I'm, like I'm tired with the baby, with Corona, with everybody, I'm so paranoid. I was probably extremely scatty, scatty yesterday. Um, but yeah, I basically told you all of it. I put the, in the description box the facial that I did have, but it is honestly the best facial that I've ever had. You know when you've been to the hygienist and your teeth feel so clean and it's, it's a kind of deep clean that you can't get yourself with a mouthwash or toothpaste? That is how I feel now with my skin. I feel like it was a facial that I can't have. And I do love a facial. It's like they're nice and relaxing. But I, when I was researching to get my skin back on track, I'm not, I'm not sure what I told you yesterday, but I realised when having my amazing skin during pregnancy how good it made me feel. Because I've had, I wouldn't say bad skin at all, like I didn't take any medication and I didn't even take it that seriously. But I did have not the best skin um, through a bad diet, dehydration, terribly hormonal, hormonal like this one is. I eat a lot of sugar. Um... And I just had a good pregnancy hormones, I didn't eat any sugar, I ate very healthy for the baby and my skin was so good. And my makeup went on nice, I felt really good, I looked younger, I felt younger. Um, you know, just, it just made me feel good. So now I know what it's like, I want to keep on top of that. So I put a lot of research into it and I actually found um, this doctor by one of my friends because she looked so great one day. I was like, what have you done to yourself? And um, she, she was the one that introduced me. So that is how, um, you know, I actually knew someone that was using her and using all, like, do, using all of her cosmetics, bes, bes, cosmetic, but she, cosmetic, but she, oh, you know what I'm trying to say. I think I'm too tired. No, I'm going to get there. Cosmetic procedure, procedure, proce, procedures. I can obviously say that word, I think. I don't realise I'm as tired as I am. You're probably just going to be click off now because I'm acting like a complete lunatic. Cosmetic procedures. Procedures. Um, and she looked so great that I just thought, okay, that's the one for me. And why wait? Why pay the same amount of money, okay, or maybe slightly more, for a facial that is one that you can't do at home? So as much as I love facials at the spa, and I'm sure I'll have many in the future, sometimes I do come out thinking, well, they're all the products I have at home. And... It's just a nice environment and it was relaxing and I can do that at home and I do do that at home. So with this one, it was one that I cannot do at home and I can't achieve this look. So I feel so, so happy about that. Now, before I start the tidying, I'm going to show you one thing, then we'll tidy, then I'll show you what I bought in Zara. So this came two days ago um, from the next potato team. I had no idea it was coming and it was such a nice surprise so these were gifted obviously so this is literally what I saw when I opened the box I had no idea what it was I guessed that they were shoes um, and here they are like a little kitten heel, and you know what Harris said when he saw them? That he said, Oh, maybe the team picked these for you because they're like a Chanel classic flap. And I said, Why are they like a Chanel classic flap? And he said, Burgundy on the inside and black on the outside. And I said, Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and tell how tired I am, my voice is going, even though I've been drinking all day. So they're, they're actually really me because I love wearing a low heel, and these are perfect with like cut off jeans. And I love the little detail at the front. I've taken my nail varnish off. So they're actually a pair of shoes that I'm going to wear. Very elegant. Um, I just really love them and they're super comfortable. So I'm really, really happy with them. Especially, oh, I should have turned my phone off. Especially when it's a gift that, like it really is a gift. It just got sent as a surprise. So I'll link them below. They're true to size. Now, I'm going to tidy my room up very quickly. I'll fast forward it or something. And then I'll show you what I bought in Zara. And then we're going to go to another part of the house. And I'm going to show you, I'm getting stressed that my phone's going off, the most 
epic, one of the most epic things that I own in my house right now and probably will my whole entire life. So I can't wait to show you that. And then there's actually another surprise in there. So yeah, I've got a few things to show you. Um, should have put some cover up on. But can you see that my breakout, it feels a lot clearer. So I think by tomorrow it'll be gone. I never do videos about any makeup because um, I'm just not at that age where I can get away with that. But you know, whatever. Let's tidy up the room. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Mm -hmm. I don't fit to your bar's beauty queen. So we're in the bar. So let's go for the pouring it down of rain. Now we actually spent all weekend last weekend cleaning this, tidying it. Um, a couple of the so actually about four of the sofas are going, so it's a bit of a mess at the moment. But this is what I'm so excited to show you. And I did want to show it all in the room already, but we're far from that. So I'm just going to show you how it is because I'm just so excited. And then you can look forward to how it's going to look in the future. This is it the timothy alton rex table um for those of you that have been following me for a while you will know that i have the the mirror this is my absolute pride and joy i've had this for quite a few years now and i'd wanted it for so so long um and i just love the whole collection we went to china we saw them being made it's just such a special brand to me and I'll save talking about it in another video but this is just the introduction and for those of you that don't know the Rex collection I mean amazing how amazing for um a dinner party we've got a very special room for this but let me show you Ta -da! so for those of you that were thinking hmm, yeah it's okay I have no words, like I was literally delayed then. Isn't it the most sensational thing you've ever seen in your life? It's one of my most favourite brands in the entire world, Timothy Alton. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Should we turn the lights off? Ignore all the 100 million sofas. Wow, oh my God. How sensational. Okay, so I've just had an idea. I don't know whether I'm feeling creative now. And I wonder if we can do a little video. And you've already seen this on my Instagram. But I'm definitely, with the way that I just saw that transition, I'm definitely going to do some sort of Instagram video for this. Um, and I'll put up here if it's on there or not. Or if it's going to be up next week. But I'm just obsessed. Totally and utterly and utterly in love so i'll leave all the details for this and it does not finish here i have bought so much timothy alton pieces i'm actually um i actually don't know any influencer that works with timothy alton but i've been working them with them for a few years now and um, this is a part of a project but i love the brand me and paris spend so much money there it's just like an absolute passion of ours and we have a huge delivery come in next week that we bought um, I'm just so excited for this to be in the final room. But for now, it's going to look absolutely beautiful in this room. If we take out, this is Timothy Alton as well in the back there. And I've got the other set. It's actually in, in another room. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely great in here for entertaining with the bar that I'm halfway through doing. I've kind of redone everything. Um, but yeah, that's it. How unbelievably amazing. I'm dragging this on because I'm just in awe of it. I've actually never seen it in this room with the light off. Oh, it's so stunning. I can't wait to do something really creative with this. But yeah, that's it. It's the Rex table. I'll show you the mirror with the light on. I mean, you've all seen this before. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth every penny. I'd probably choose this over an Hermes bag. Brings me so much joy. I just remembered it's my mum's wedding anniversary. So, let me get my phone. We're going to send her a voice note. I'm not going to sing happy birth uh, anniversary. I have something else planned. Okay, 
So I'm not going to do the standard happy anniversary. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a classic. <coughs> predict that my mum will copy and send the same voice note back because she's a bit of a copycat like that. Okay let me finish tidying up again. That doesn't even look that much tidy does it? So these are the bits I'm going to show you. These I'm going to show you and obviously that is waiting to be collected. Um, that was not hung up very well and I should actually put that away. This is my new Fendi cardigan that I wanted to show you. And that box in the corner I can't even deal with that right now. Um, and this all here, I'm waiting for my new chair that I'm saying that like I found one, but I, no, I have found one. No, I haven't found one. I don't know which one I want. So, and that is not meant to be in here. I used it for a photo and it's just stayed ever since. That's meant to be for downstairs. Um, but I don't think it looks too bad. So let me show you the little bits in here. So obviously I had this outfit. And let's, let me show you the rest. So first of all, the Harrods things I bought last night, I mean, I was only there for a few minutes. I bought some beautiful cu mugs, cups, that reminded me of my Ritz, um, I had a twitch then. Um, I bought some Ritz cups for my birthday when I went for my birthday, just as a souvenir to remind me of the evening. And they look exactly the same, they even feel the same. It's like they're made by the same factory or something. Um, so I'll put a colour away of them, because they're downstairs. I use them for them. I got in at 10 o'clock last night and um, I was cleaning till probably 1am and I only did one floor. My phone, it just literally doesn't stop. Um, well, that's actually Instagram. You're asking about the facial that I had, so um, I have to do like a story. So, these are really big, but they're for my friend's little girl. But how cute is the Paddington collection? And uh, I thought I'd hate all stuff like this for boys, but I just find it so cute. I just, because I picture Honoré in them, I just think they're so cute. So they're all around £25, £30, everything. But I thought I'd put them away. I know they're one to two. I mean, he'll probably be wearing them by Christmas, knowing how big he's getting. Not really, but... Um, I just thought, because they're the anniversary ones, I just thought they were so cute. And the Harrods Signature... Um, baby grows. I always buy these for presents as well. They're really nice fabric. This one's really big. But how cute must like a one year old be in a huge baby grow like that? Must be so sad when your baby doesn't wear baby grows anymore. But I thought this was a really nice one. Just a really nice Harrods print. I thought that was so lovely. Um, this one, not to three months. I bought that for my friend who's pregnant. I bought this one for Honoré. And um, that's my friend's little girl. So just a load of pyjamas, basically. And I would have loved to have bought more. I really, I want to get Honoré the Christmas bear, and I will collect them until he's 18. I know it's <laughs> But I really do want to do this. And I actually bought one when I was pregnant last December because I thought I'll start then because technically he was made in 2019. So I got that one. It's a white one from Joshua. And um, I really wanted to pick up the one yesterday, so I don't know what it looks like or what the name is. <laughs> I'm sure I bought more things. I bought loads of t-shirts for Paris. Um, this must have been it, really. And then I bought this. Very Alexander Rich. Isn't it? I bought a size large because it's cropped, so I wanted the extra length. Um, and it's not too itchy. Not the softest they've done, but not too itchy at all. And that was 29 99 Looks really nice, doesn't it? 
Um, oh, I've just found another bag here. Oh, yeah. So I bought some knitted leggings from Zara. I thought they were in here, but they're not. No, they're not even in here. So they basically go with this, they're knitted leggings. Um, right, now, I hope they're in here. Yeah, there's just a load of t-shirts, which you don't want to know, they're just boring. Um, and then just some knitted leggings to wear with these. And um, it wasn't too busy in there, I wore my mask, I stayed away from other one, it's the first time I've been there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you something really beautiful. We're going to finish this vlog because it's half six on a Friday night. And I need to cook dinner. This is a project that I've been working on with, um, well I mean she's been working on, I haven't been doing anything, um, with a beautiful young, young artist, um, Lily, I'll put up her Instagram here so you can find it easier, and she asked me quite a while ago, but I didn't see it, but she asked me if she wanted to create some prints for me. And I just thought, oh yeah, I could really do with that actually, because I love photos, as everybody knows, but I'm just, I love all of my photos so much that I never know which one to print. And I, I got married in 2015 and still don't have a wedding album, so that's how bad I am. Um, and it's also mainly down to being so unorganised. And um, so I thought, okay, this is the perfect opportunity. Um, she specialises in, you're going to see it, but she specialises in putting... It's not even glitter, it's like a really nice, like white crystal. It's really beautiful, I'll of course show you. And then like some paint drops and things, and it's very signature to her. And she, they look really beautiful with wedding wedding um, photos. But when I had Honoré, the thing is when I have Honoré, every time I take a picture of him, I'm like, I'm gonna frame it, I'm gonna frame it. So I picked out just the ones from when he was first born. I'm gonna lay them all out for you. And then I picked out some of my favorite wedding ones. My favorite, oh. I literally cried when I opened this uh, parcel, by the way. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. Like, she's made me so happy just creating this for me because they were all things I was going to blow up, but she just made them extra special, and I, I really recommend, even if you just get one wedding one, um, really beautiful for gifts and all your sentimental photos. I really need to put them in frames before they get damaged. And uh, I took some photos of Honoré at the sunflower fields and I thought it would look really beautiful to get her to do one in colour and I've seen that she does this really beautiful Italy collection, it looks like it's Capri from the pictures, I didn't look that where it was. Um, and she does actually do colour so I think my next set I might get something done in colour. So I'll show you what they look like, these are all the most meaning photos to me. Um, there's a trip from Arizona that Paris and I did and it was just the most one of the best trips I've ever been on, like it literally felt like we were on another planet, really good memories, it was actually our last holiday before we had him because we, were, we couldn't have our baby moon, so that was a really great memories, we've got our, our engagement shoot which is one of my favourite memories because we look so young and carefree, obviously that's pre-2015 because so we weren't even married, we just look so young and my mum loves this picture because I'm hovering above the ground, I have a really beautiful photo of me and my mum, me and my sister, a wedding picture from both weddings, not been married twice, one was my legal wedding at the Ritz, and then I had my big wedding in Provence, and then I have a pregnancy picture, and the, oh, Shaluli and Bambi, and the most beautiful picture, oh honey boy, and when you move them around, they don't, they don't fall off, um, but it's just, do you know what I love about it? It's like feminine and masculine. The paint is quite masculine and quite a unique technique, I think so anyway. And then the glitter is obviously feminine. So that, I think that's why I'm so drawn to her work because I'm, I, I call my style girly tomboy. So it's like feminine and masculine like at the same time. So that's what I took from when I looked at her work. And I just think it elevates a picture, a photo, an image that I already love and I just love them so much, they bring me so much joy and I sent her about 20, 30 pictures and I said to her this is why I can't put anything on the wall because I can't pick so she actually helped me narrow them down to see what she thought would look good with the glitter um, but I'll leave her details below, you should follow her on Instagram, she's beautiful to look at but also really talented, um, she sells these prints, you can just email her any photo you like 
Um, like even the wedding ones, like look at this, if you have a confetti one, like all the glitter, all the confetti is glitter and then she picks up on your wedding dress, your vow, your shoes, there's even one of the dogs and she does any size that you like. Um, I can't wait to get more with her, I definitely want to get more of Honoré um, and you know I'll 100% buy one from her for my sister's wedding and um, I'll show you my granny knickers there. But yeah, this vlog is long enough, but I've, I forgot how beautiful these were. Look at that one, look at my little Ollie boy, I love him so much. And it's just so amazing that she's put this in, into something so beautiful. So I'm gonna have them in a, a gallery wall, um, under the stairs, but because of the building work, I can't actually hang them yet, so I really need to put these somewhere safe. Okay, that's the end of the video. I have actually got loads of Hermes things that I've, I've, got that I was going to show you but this is too big and they're just it's not a bag put it that way so don't get too excited so um next video I think I'll be doing like a whole Hermes haul um and uh, I've just done my Minola collection that should be up but sorry this is a super long haul and just you know nothing too major going on and look a mess but um as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. I wonder if my mum has replied. She hasn't. If she doesn't reply and then you're not gonna hear her, but maybe I'll come back later and show you. But yeah, anyway, okay, thanks for watching, bye. What is that in the background? Oh, the cabinet. So, ignore me. I'm actually gonna get out of the way. Let's just film my jumper. My mum has replied, and as promised. Oni loves oh, Nanny. That's another song. Nanny loves Oni. Nanny and Oni together forever. Love you, Oni. Okay, so that's Oni's son. P A S U.